Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate the fidget spinner project in Scratch. So let's take a look at the original project that was in Scratch Junior. Okay, so when you tap, it makes the fidget spinner spin. That's it, pretty simple project, right? Okay, so the main purpose of this particular project was actually to get it so that kids could figure out how to use the paint editor to create their own fidget spinner, their own unique sprite. So we're gonna talk about how you can do that in Scratch. So in Scratch, it's very easy to create your own sprite and it can do the same thing in terms of when you click on it, it's going to move. So let's take a look at the inside of this code and see inside. So there are two variations in here. The icon one is the exact same code in terms of we're going to, when we click, it's going to repeat and it's going to turn 12, which in Scratch Junior 12 was the correct number for a full uh, 360 degree rotation. Okay, so that's one option that you can use. Another option that you can use is to actually just use the motion blocks to cause it to turn and it could be any number of repeats. So when you click on it, it will cause it to spin in a different direction and the unique thing about this is it allows you to make it so that it can spin faster or slower. So for example, if I wanted to spin faster, I just use a bigger number. Or if I wanted to spin slower, I can use a slower number or a smaller number. I can't speak right now. Okay, so that's one of the unique things about using this is it gives you more control over the code. Whereas if you're using these my blocks that I created, it only allows you to determine how much, but not necessarily how fast. Okay, so we can change the direction and we can change the amount, but not necessarily how fast or slow. Okay, now the thing about this particular lesson, like I had mentioned earlier in this video, is it's all about creating your own new sprite. So if you wanted kids to create a new sprite and use the icons in here, you're gonna want them to use the icon default sprite, which again, you can find in the remix project that I have in another video that you can watch in this playlist above. Okay, so this will give you all of the code that you need. So when you press the, two lines right here. It gives you some starting code. You can also drag from here. And it is hiding all the code down here that we don't want kids to mess with, okay? Now, to actually create a different sprite other than the cat, all we have to do for the kids is just show them to go down here and to click on the paintbrush. And then that gives them a whole bunch of different unique things that they can use to create whatever kind of sprite that they want. Or if they don't like stuff, they can erase things. They can use the different tools, all sorts of different things to create something that is interesting to them, okay? So still the same idea. You can still go in the exact same format in terms of like learning the paint editor and then showing how to add in the code. But that's basically how you can recreate the fidget spinner inside of Scratch. And I recommend doing this after you have done the project eight and project nine, which is basically when you click on something, it's going to play a sound. This way, when you click on something, it shows them how to use some different blocks, like some of the motion blocks, or again, some of the blocks that are actually already built into Scratch and are not a added block. I hope this video helps, and I hope you have some fun creating fidget spinner inside of Scratch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.